All right, so far we've covered how to write code for parts that have 90 degree angles but most shapes that you're going to be programming will have some type of an angle whether that be a closed or an open angle so today we're going to learn with the use of a little trigonometry to write code and find coordinates for parts with open and closed angles so let's see how that's done Alright, so we're going to start a toolpath right here in the upper left hand corner. You can see the origin is tied to the upper left hand corner of the part. And we're sitting currently at x minus 0.550 and y.350. The first move we're going to make is a G1, G41, D1. So we're going to activate line left cutter comp. And we're going to move from y.350 to y.250. So let's complete that move. And then we're going to go to the next intersection, and that will be x 2 inches 144 and 3 tenths. And you can see the dotted line is the tool path, which is parallel to the geometry of the part, and it's a quarter inch offset. So now you can see the tool has to move past the corner enough so that the cutting edge now is lined up with the next piece of geometry. So let's complete the next move. And you can see it's got to move way past the part so that the top of the tool is in line with the next piece of geometry. So currently we're sitting at x 3 inches 137 and 3 tenths, y minus 1 inch 4698. Then the next move, the tool is going to sit tangent to the two lines right here, right before it changes direction to go to the next intersection. So right there we're sitting at x 1 inch 20 thousandths and 6 tenths and y minus 699 and 4 tenths. Then the next move, again we move way past the part because the right side of the tool has to be in line with the next piece of geometry so that it complete that move. Alright, so we're going to move a little bit past the part and then make a perpendicular move away from the part where we do a G40X minus 0.350. Alright, so let's talk about each corner and how we come up with these coordinates using trig. Alright, so the first coordinate we're going to calculate is this one right here on the upper right hand corner. And first of all, we're going to determine what dimensions we do have and do know. Uh, that we can use to come up with this intersection point right here of the center point of the tool. So the 2 inch dimension comes from x0 to this intersection point right here. So that's 2 inches that we know. The distance from the bottom of the tool to the center of the tool, it's a half inch diameter tool, so we know that this distance right here is 250,000, so that's another known dimension. Alright, so let's zoom in. What we need to do is the intersection point right here on the part and the intersection point right here where the tool takes a turn is where we draw a line, a straight line. And what that does, it creates this 30 degree angle. And the way you figure that is we have this 120 degree angle right here and we know that a complete circle is 360 degrees. So we have 120, then we have this 90 degrees and 90 degrees, so that makes 300 degrees, which means there are 60 degrees left, and this line right here divides this 60 degrees right here in half, so therefore we come up with the 30 degrees. So we have the distance of 250 plus 30 degrees. So now we have enough information to calculate this distance right here that the tool has to travel beyond this intersection to be in line for the next piece of geometry. So what we need to do is bring up the calculator and we're going to take 30 degrees and we're going to take the tangent and then we're going to multiply that times the 250 and then we come up with the 0.1443 and a four place decimal is plenty accurate so that is the distance that we're going to travel past this intersection so our coordinate right there will be two inches 
1443. So let's back out and see. There it is. X 2 inches 1443. So that takes care of calculating the first intersection. All right, so the second intersection is going to take a little bit more effort to calculate the x and y coordinate of this intersection. So let's back out the view a little bit and let's see the known dimensions that we do have. We know that from the origin in x to this corner right here is 2 inches 577 and 4 tenths. And then in y we have this 1 inch dimension. And then we also have this 40 degree angle and so we know that if these two legs right here are 40 degrees then in between these two legs we will have 40 degrees. Again we're going to draw a line from the intersection right here to the center of the tool which divides that 40 degrees right in half. So we know we got a 20 degree triangle right there and if we draw a perpendicular line from the center of the tool up against the geometry that we just finished we know that we have a distance of 250 right there so that is two pieces of information to this triangle let me show you a little bit better that red triangle right there is what we're gonna use first and what we're after is the length of this leg because we're gonna need that length to calculate the length of this leg and this leg because that is the length in y that's going to be added to this one inch dimension and this leg is going to be the distance added to the two inches five seven seven four dimension right here alright so let's back up here alright so we're going to use the information that we have and the first thing we're going to do is calculate this leg right here so we know that this small angle right here is 20 degrees we have a 90 degree angle right here and we know that in a triangle the three corners have to add up to 180 degrees so right now we have 110 so this corner right here is 70 degrees so if we bring up the calculator we're going to take 70 degrees and we're going to take the tangent of that and we're going to multiply that times the point 0.250 equals so now we know that this leg right here is 686 and 8 tenths and so we're going to round that off to 0 0.6869 and now that we have this dimension we can use this length and this length and find out what this length is so let's get the calculator back out we clear the entry and what we're going to do is take the 0.6869 we're going to square it plus 0.250 squared equals and then we take the square root of that so that dimension is 7309 all right so we're going to add that dimension to the print and we're going to round that off to 731 alright so that's the leg that we needed to find to be able to calculate the X and Y distance of the blue triangle so let me go ahead and hide the red triangle and so now that we have the 731 we know that we have 40 degrees right here so again we can take out the calculator and what we're going to do next is we're going to take the sine of 40 degrees and multiply it times the hypotenuse so we take 40 degrees we're going to take the sine and multiply that times 731 so that is 4698 so that's the length of this leg right here so let's add that dimension right there 0.4698 so now we can also use the same hypotenuse and the 40 degrees and we'll take the cosine take 40 and we take the cosine and we multiply that 0.731 equals all right so we're going to take 0.5599 
and that is our dimension for the lower leg so let's go ahead and put that on there so if we take that dimension 0.5599 and add it to the 2 inches 5774 we come up with the x 3 inches 1373 to the x coordinate of this intersection and then the 0.4698 we add that to the 1 inch then we come up with a y minus 1 inch 4698 dimension all right so that takes care of that intersection all right so the third intersection again is a little bit different approach and let's go ahead and zoom in we have an intersection right here and the tool has stopped tangent to this piece of geometry and this piece of geometry right here and so what we're interested in is the distance x and y this little distance right here for X and then this distance right here for Y. Now the known dimensions are 0.4246 in Y to the intersection and in X we got 0.9966. So the dimension we're going to calculate and we're going to add to those dimensions to come up with this intersection right here in the center of the tool. Alright so let's zoom out a little bit alright so the first thing we're going to need to do is take a look at all these angles the print gives us this 130 degrees open angle dimension right here and then this 60 degrees this 40 degrees and this 120 degrees so those are known dimensions now again if we take and draw a line from the center of the tool to the intersection right here so we're connecting the two intersections again the intersection on the part and in the intersection of the two tool paths where we change direction and if we continue that line then it will help us identify some of these triangles alright so with 130 degrees we know again that a full circle is 360 degrees so we have drawn a line right here perpendicular to this geometry and then a line here perpendicular to this geometry so we know we got 90 degrees right here and we got 90 degrees right here so we take 130 plus 90 plus 90 is 310 so 360 minus 310 leaves 50 degrees between these two legs right here all right so again this leg right down the middle divides that 50 degrees into 25 degree angles on both sides okay so now we're going to zoom in right here because this is 60 this angle is 60 we know that this angle is 90 so therefore this is a 30 so we'll go to the opposite side of that we know that this is a 60 we know that this is 25 so we know that the three corners of a triangle have to add up to 180 so we take 60 plus 25 that's 85 so there's only 95 degrees left to make 180 so this is not a 90 degree angle it is five degrees off from that so therefore if we zoom in the angle right here of these two legs is five degrees okay so the first triangle that we're going to have to calculate is the one right here the one I just lit up and the reason why is because we don't have enough information on this five degree triangle right here to calculate any of these X or Y legs so we're going to start by calculating the opposite leg of this triangle right here because we have the 250 thousandths leg right here and we know that this angle is 25 degrees so when you have two pieces of information you have enough information to calculate all right so let's bring up the calculator and we're going to take the 25 degrees we're going to take the tangent and we're going to multiply it times 0.250 equals so this leg right here is 116 and a half thousands okay so now that we know the length of the adjacent leg and the opposite leg we can go ahead and calculate the hypotenuse all right so we're going to take the quarter inch leg square it and we're going to add 
the leg we just calculated, which is the point one one six five squared equals, and we're going to take the square root of that. So now the hypotenuse is two hundred and seventy five and eight tenths. So now we have the hypotenuse of the five degree angle. So therefore we have two pieces of information. So now we can find X and Y. So we take the five degrees and we're going to take the sine and we're going to multiply that times the point two seven five eight equals. So the X dimension now is 24 thousands and then we can take the same five degrees we take the cosine and we multiply that times the point seven five eight equals so the y dimension is point two seven four seven all right so let's put those dimensions on there all right so here they are twenty four thousands in x and point two seven four eight in y so if we take those dimensions and add it to the known dimensions, the x will be 0 0.9966 plus 0 0.024, and then the y will be the 0 0.4246 plus 0 0.2748, and that will come out to x 1 inch 0206, and then y minus 0 0.6994. All right, so that takes care of the third intersection. All right, and then there's only one more corner left to calculate right here in this lower left hand corner and the known dimension right here to this intersection is a one inch and then of course we do know let's zoom in that the tool is a half inch so lined up with this last piece of geometry we are 250 thousandths to the left so we know the adjacent leg right here now this corner right here is 60 degrees so we know that between this leg and this leg there's also 60 degrees and again we're going to take a line from the corner right here to the center of the tool which will divide that 60 degree into two even 30 degree angles all right so again we have two pieces of information and the only distance that we're looking to calculate is from this intersection right here to the center of the tool to add to the one inch dimension that we already know so let's get the calculator out and let's scoot this over and so we're going to take the tangent of this angle right here which is 60 degrees so we take 60 degrees and we take the tangent and then we multiply that times 0.25 equals 433 thousandths all right so let's put that dimension on the print there it is and if we add that to our known one inch dimension then we're sitting at x minus 250 thousandths and y minus one inch 433 all right and that matches the numbers in our program all right so that gives you an idea of what it takes to calculate x and y dimensions on parts with open and closed angles all right that's the end of this video leave me a comment and let me know if this helped you thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video